Welcome. By the end of this video, you will be able to add blur effects to the games that you are creating in Roblox Studio. Let's get started. So you're going to want to have Roblox Studio open. Now this video is going to cover the basics on how to change general blur settings in your game. There is another kind of blur called motion blur or dynamic blur that changes depending on how fast your character is moving. That is not covered in this video. I actually have another video that covers that in more detail. I'll put the link in the description below. So in order to access the general blur settings in your game, you're going to want to first change the graphics quality in Roblox Studio. There are two ways to do this. Uh, the first is you can go up to file and then you can go down to studio settings and then you want to click on rendering. And then once you have the rendering, you can then in, on editor quality level, you can click on automatic. Instead of automatic, you can come down to the highest level, which is 21. And you can see it changed the water to a more high quality there. So, and then once you have that, you can press close. If that does not work for you, you can also go ahead and test run your game. So go ahead and press play. And once you're in your game, you can go up to the game settings on the top left and click there. And then you're going to want to click on settings and scroll down to where you see graphics mode. So it, it's most likely on automatic unless you've changed it in the past. So you're going to want to click on manual and you want to keep, keep that higher eight, nine or above. Go ahead and put on 10 to make sure. And then once you have that there, you can uh, X out of that. So either one of those will get the graphics quality high enough so that you can see the differences with the blur. So I'm continuing to be in test mode here so that I can see the effects that the blur is having on the game. So in order to add the blur, I'm going to go over to lighting and then you can uh, open up the options here for you in lighting and you're going to want to look for depth of field. So you can see I have one there. Uh, if you don't see depth of field, you can just click the add icon and then press depth of field and look for that. And then you can click on that and add it to your game. Uh, but I have one already there. And so depth of field, I'm going to go and click there. And right now the depth of field is not enabled. So you can see in the properties on the bottom right that it is not enabled. So right now there is no blur in the game. So if I just cl simply click that, it's going to enable the settings that are on this blur effect. So you can see the far horizon there became blurry. And if I walk around, it will change as I move. So it becomes blurry as I walk around. And so if you want to see the differences that the settings have, uh, you can stay in play mode so you can see the differences. And so you can see there are different options here. So one is called far intensity, and that is how blurry it is uh, in the d distance further away from your avatar. So if I change this number to below uh, close to zero, you can see the blur goes away, the blur effect. And right now it's kind of uh, the settings not very fine. So you see it kind of jumps there once I get over 0.25. Uh, and so you can make it a little more intense by clicking it over to one, uh, but really it's right around 0 0.2, 0 0.25, somewhere around there where the blur effect is really seen. And then you can change your focus distance. And you're going to see this is the focus distance from the camera angle. So you can see from the camera angle, it's measuring it in studs. And so if I increase this, the, you can see the uh, camera angle becomes blurry in front of my avatar. And then now the also further away, uh, the intensity is less. So I'm going to go ahead and get that back to zero. That's I want my avatar to be clear, but the surroundings to be blurry. So that's what I'm going for. You can do an in focus radius. Again, you can change that setting as well. And you will see the in focus radius also changes as you uh, change the setting there. So I'm going to look for something around there. So that's about how far I want to be about 16 studs away from my character. So that uh, when I'm moving, that's about how much I can see. And then you have uh, near intensity, which really uh, has to go with that focus distance. So let's say I had the focus distance at you know 56. You can see the character is getting blurry again. If I turn the near intensity down to zero, that takes that effect away. And again, you'll notice it kind of jumps once you get to a certain point uh, in the uh, near intensity. So again, I want that to be clear. So you can either change it with the near intensity or the focus distance. So each of these settings is unique. And honestly, the main thing that you want to make sure is that the script is enabled. So you see there's a option here for enabled. So basically, you want to have enabled clicked so that you can have the blur effect. And so now when I move around, it is blurry, um, but not uh, right around my character. And this is usually the blur effect you're going for if you have something like a horror game or uh, anything where you uh, want uh, the focus to be around the avatar. So you now know how to add blur to the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I have a link to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.